Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Apollo 13 would have been the third mission to send humans to the surface of the moon, but it never made it that far. Saturday marks the 45th anniversary of the doomed mission, which launched April 11, 1970. It's often called NASA's most successful failure. 200,000 miles from Earth during its approach to the moon, an oxygen tank aboard the spacecraft's service module exploded. This represented two immediate problems, a loss of breathable air and external venting that threatened to literally push the mission off course. Now, look to me, looking out the uh, hatch, so we are venting something. We are, uh, we are venting something out uh, into the uh, into space. Roger, we copy your venting. It's a gas of some sort. You say to yourself, why didn't this happen on Apollo 12? Or wait for Apollo 14? We didn't know what caused the explosion first, but the first thing we thought of was perhaps a meteorite had hit the lunar module. Within minutes of the explosion, focus had shifted from getting to the moon to getting safely back to Earth. Despite the lost oxygen tank, the crew had plenty of breathable air left. The issue was removal of carbon dioxide. The chemical scrubbers in the lunar module were designed to support two men for two days. Survival of the crew required they support three men for four days while they returned to Earth. And since the air systems in the lunar module were designed differently than those in the command module, it meant literally fitting square pegs in a round hole. On the ground, an adapter was fashioned from materials the crew had available in the LEM. Cardboard from a checklist, plastic bags, and tape. It's the quick thinking like this that gave Apollo 13 its reputation as a successful learning experience for NASA. They were ready to think about things that were way outside of the procedures they practiced to run through checklists, to use their imagination and come up with ways to very calmly work out the best way to bring three people back to Earth alive. Jim Lavelle says despite its aborted status, the mission still inspired a generation. I meet people now in their 50s, even some early 60s, that said when I was a small kid, I watched you go up into space and this was the reason why I'm now an engineer or a scientist. And while the astronaut aboard Apollo 13 never did set foot on the moon, they set a record of another kind during their slingshot around its dark side. To date, they have gone farther from Earth than any other human. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.